Matt Hedges has been traded to Austin FC for $475,000 in general allocation money, $375,000 in 2024 general allocation money, and an extra $100,000 of general allocation money in 2025, depending on the player's contract status on January 1st, 2024. The Toronto FC exodus of players continues as following the departures of Mark Anthony K and Io Akinola, Matt Hedges is added to the list of players that have been sent away following the end of the Bob Bradley era. Now, Matt Hedges is different from Mark Anthony K and Io Akinola because I think most TFC fans will agree that K and Akinola were disappointing so far this season for Toronto FC. With Matt Hedges, the most disappointing part about him is that he's been injured quite a bit, but beyond that point, he's done his job for Toronto FC. 14 appearances for Toronto FC this season, 13 starts, one substitute appearance. In the time Matt Hedges has been on the field for Toronto FC, we have 12 goals for and 11 goals against. Somehow with Matt Hedges on the pitch, we've scored more goals than we've conceded, which is the recipe for success in football. And Matt Hedges, with him on the pitch, we've only allowed 11 goals in his 14 appearances. He has been a solid defender, Toronto FC's best defender all season when he's been healthy. The issue is that he hasn't been healthy, but with Toronto FC's medical staff and the injury history surrounding Toronto FC, you can't really blame him for that. So why are we getting rid of him? Well, Matt Hedges is in a tough spot because Matt Hedges was brought in to shore up the defensive line, which was the worst in MLS last season. And help the team become competitive in their quick turnaround to try and become competitive for an MLS Cup this season. And Matt Hedges, he came in, he did his job, he made the defense significantly better, even with him hurt for almost half our regular season games this season, we're still on pace to concede 20 fewer goals than we did last season. And taking just the games Matt Hedges are a part of, we were on pace for 30 goals less than last season had Matt Hedges played in every single game, taking in the goal scoring rate with him on the pitch. So Matt Hedges came in and did his job. He helped the defense get a lot better and helped TFC be more competitive in that aspect. Problem is, is the offense completely dried up and just could not produce anything. And so TFC tumbled down the standings and we're in a spot where with 10 games left in the season, we're basically out of the playoff race. And Matt Hedges is left in a spot where he was a quick fix sort of guy. An older player entering his mid thirties, Matt Hedges is a win now type of player. And so if Toronto FC were competing for an MLS Cup this season, if Toronto FC were pushing for a playoff spot this season, keeping Matt Hedges around is a no brainer. But he's a player who is not gonna be helpful long term for this team. And so it just makes sense to send him off now to a team that is competitive this season, a team that is in a playoff race this season and get some return back. And for a guy we signed on a free, $75,000 next season is a great get, especially considering that this season is already a write-off, so he wouldn't be helpful this year. So Austin FC, who currently sit in the middle of the playoff spots in the Western Conference, get a solid defender who's been solid this season in MLS, who's going to help shore up their defensive line even more, provide them more depth on defense as they go for a playoff run. And Toronto FC gets money now that we can use to build into the future. The general allocation money that we get next year for this deal is huge because that's just more potential for us to turn around and build towards a better team next season with this year already being a write-off. So that ends the Matt Hedges TFC run prematurely in an interesting spot where like, unlike the other guys that have been exodus post Bob Bradley leaving, you don't really blame Matt Hedges. Matt Hedges was thrown into a tough situation. He did his job. He played well for Toronto FC. Yes, he got injured a bit, but everyone gets injured a bit for TFC. You don't blame him for that either. And in the end, like had other people stepped up and done their jobs, Matt Hedges would still be here and the Matt Hedges signing would probably be seen as much better than it is being seen as now. So in the end, Hedges leaves Toronto FC as a victim of circumstance and Toronto FC gets a nice load of assets back for it. So I think there's nothing to be upset about about this deal. I mean, Hedges was good in his time here. We get money back for him. He gets to go to a competitive team as he's not a guy you really want to keep around long term for a team that's building for the future. And he gets to go back to Texas where he played for pretty much his whole career since 2012 of FC Dallas. Yeah, he's not going back to Dallas, but he's going back to Austin, which is close. So everyone's happy. So that is it for this video. As always, if you'd like to hit like it, if you want to see more of my stuff, hit subscribe, follow me on Twitter. Our link is down below in the description and I will see you next time.